John Cristana here. I'm going to be going over three steps that will help you become a millionaire. Now, I'm going to go over each step in detail, but the big overview is number one, you need to find a mentor who's already a millionaire. Number two is you need to learn about market to message match. And number three is you need to study traffic and copywriting above everything else. Now let's get into it, exactly how to do these things. Let's get it. So the first step to becoming a millionaire is you want to find a mentor to follow who is already a millionaire, right? Seems obvious. You don't want to guess how to become a millionaire. If you wanted to learn how to play guitar, for instance, you'd work with somebody who already knows how to play guitar and you'd sign up for guitar lessons with them. Now, the same applies to business. You need to get a mentor on board for yourself if you want to become a millionaire. They can lay out a proven step-by-step-by-step -step -step path for you to follow to reach that goal as well. They can also show you what mistakes or obstacles will come up and how to avoid them along the way. And best of all, they can trust their gut and tell you why your gut may be wrong. Now, as always, some teachers are going to be better than other teachers in conveying information. But at the end of the day, you need to follow somebody who's already become a millionaire. Don't listen to advice on how to become a millionaire from someone who isn't a millionaire, which could be trusting your own gut, or it could be learning from people who aren't millionaires themselves. The second step to becoming a millionaire is to learn about message to market match. Now, learn how to do marketplace research and understand the needs of different groups of people. No matter what market you're selling to, you must understand the market. Now, the three main markets, I would say, are consumers, which is the general public. Maybe if you're selling weight loss products or education, that's a general market product. The second market is B2B or businesses. For instance, you might sell marketing services to local businesses, or you might sell IT services or consulting services to any business. And the third market is investors. So those are people who are looking to invest in businesses and they are looking just to give you money to buy a business or to buy real estate or whatever. That's obviously a much wealthier market and each of these different groups of people act differently somewhat to make their decisions. Most people wanna sell, 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 sell without listening to their market at all. Again, I did that when I first got started. I said, oh, I have a great idea about how to sell stuff. And I'd go out and try selling things the way I thought it should be done rather than listening to what people wanted and then just delivering it to them. Again, a lot of people make this mistake because they have an idea and they come up with something and they want to go out and sell it as opposed to the other way around, which is what listening what people want and then delivering it to them. You wanna test out different things because you're never gonna be sure of what works now. So always be testing, A, B, T, and scrap whatever people don't respond to and then just double down on what they like. I did this once again when I was starting out in affiliate marketing is I would test marketing. I would go out and market a new product, you know, every week. I'd set up different marketing campaigns for a new product and I'd see which products got the most traction the fastest. Products that didn't get a lot of clicks or a lot of interest or a lot of sales, I would scrap. The products that did get more clicks, more responses, I would keep going after. I keep improving my marketing. Very easy. And you do that over and over again. Over time, you're going to end up with a lot of money. And continue to offer new things because people are always looking to buy new things. This especially applies if you have a current audience that you market to. Always be giving them new things to buy. Again, the hardest part is getting a customer or getting somebody to rely on your information. 
it's much easier to get them to buy new things. The third step to becoming a millionaire is studying traffic and copywriting above everything else. Now, most people study a million different things in business instead of these two different items. Now, if you study copywriting, you'll always be able to create ads and content to sell. People tell me, and I'm known in my industry, as being able to sell ice to an Eskimo. I've sold weight loss and investment products, which are easy, right? Everyone wants to lose weight. Everybody wants to uh, invest their money somewhere they'll get a good return on investment. But I've also sold books on how to avoid being kidnapped by aliens or abducted by aliens. I've also sold products that get rid of bed bugs. I've sold products to help people prepare for the end of the world. And that's because I study copywriting, which is how to market products using written words and images. If you can type the right words, use the right images in the right order, you can sell almost any. Now, if you study traffic, you'll be able to get in front of a lot of people. And the biggest problem most businesses have, whether they're online or whether they're not on the internet, is getting enough people into the business. Okay, You don't hear about businesses going out of business because they had too many people coming into the store each day. Now, the combination of traffic, which is getting people to into your business or getting people into your website, and copywriting, which is the art of selling, will be able to scale your business without anything else. There's more to add on that later, and I have a bunch of videos that go through copywriting if you look through my archives on my YouTube channel. But you'll fail if you don't take into account these two foundations and try to get really good at them. Now for me, what I did was I focused on one traffic source. For me, it was Google Ads, and I got really good at Google Ads. It's almost impossible to become good at everything, right? You're not gonna get good at Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, SEO, etc. So I focus on one. I know a little bit about a lot of things, and then I go deep in Google Ads which is my T-shaped model for learning. Know a lot about a little and go deep. Google ads and by correlation, YouTube ads has been very good for my business. It's allowed me to earn millions and millions and millions of dollars. I didn't start with YouTube ads, but YouTube is a part of Google ads. So it was natural that I was able to get into that pretty early on and make a lot of money. I remember seeing uh, one of Ty Lopez's ads back in 2015 and I thought to myself, okay, this guy, I did some back of the envelope math and I said, okay, this guy's making about $5 million a month from his advertising that he's doing on YouTube. And based on my projection of his numbers, I said, okay, he's making it 5 million, I believe, it, but it, he's making at least $2 million a month. I said, I can figure out how to make an ad like that pretty easily too. And I went out and I created my own ads on YouTube. And sure enough, it was pretty easy. I just did something similar to what Ty Lopez did. And I was able to create a, what it is today, $7 million business. $7 million per year. Pretty exciting, right? And not too hard. And when you build skills, you allow yourself to take advantage of these opportunities. Now you can never master traffic and copywriting because these are subjective disciplines. Sales and marketing are based on people. And with people, there is no perfection that you can ever accomplish. There's no way to be in the perfect relationship. There's no way to perfectly hit on a girl. There's no perfect way to get in an argument with your significant other. There's just guidelines. You have to be comfortable with uncertainty when you get into anything sales or marketing related. This is very difficult for many people. And if you aren't comfortable with uncertainty, nobody really is, but if you just can't stand it, then being an entrepreneur is probably not for you. Or you have to work on your mindset a lot if that is something you actually want to pursue. Now for traffic and copywriting, my suggestion would be is to study people who are good at these two disciplines and learn how to get better by following them. Now I have some videos on my channel. You can check them out. Ronnie Sandlin and my friend Carlos Cruz, who are expert copywriters, talk a little bit about copywriting. They're multi-millionaire affiliate marketers. And also I would suggest you go through YouTube and find interviews with Craig Clements. 
Craig Clemens is perhaps the number one copywriter in the world, and he runs a very significantly large company that does over $200 million per year based on the marketing that he's written on his computer. So I hope you enjoy those resources. Check them out. They're going to be long videos, but I suggest you watch them and learn how to get good at traffic and copywriting and find your millionaire mentor so you can learn and become great. Have a good day. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Also, if you want to interact with other folks that are aspiring entrepreneurs and marketers, make sure to join my Discord channel. And that's an area where you can chat with other people about various different subjects related to starting your own online business. I also encourage you to follow me on Twitch. So Twitch, I occasionally do streaming of video games that I play. I like playing a whole different sort of video game, play card games, I play strategy games, I play RPGs, and I split my time between video games and reading in my free time when I'm not with my family. Have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.